Now let's discuss about how the energy has been getting to be stored in a capacitor. So this concept is all about dealing about the energy stored in a capacitor. So you can see here the capacitor is over here. So the capacitor is a charge storage device. In general we can say it a charge storage device. So work has to be done to store the charges in a capacitor. This work done is stored as electrostatic potential energy in a capacitor. So you can see how the charge has been stored in the capacitor. Let us consider a charge Q having V that is the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor. If dQ is the additional charge given to the plate, then the work done is given as dW equal to V into dQ. From this we can yield dW equal to Q by C into dQ where we have substituted the value for V. Now the total work done to charge a capacitor is W will be equal to taking integral it will be integral 0 to Q Q by C into dQ. On substituting the lower and upper limit we will be having 1 by 2 Q square divided by C. So this is the work done which has been stored as electrostatic potential in the capacitor. So the electrostatic potential energy is represented as U. That is 1 by 2 Q square divided by C where we can substitute the value for Q that is charge Cv. So now the term will become electrostatic potential energy will be equal to 1 by 2 Cv square. So this is the energy that is recovered if the capacitor is allowed to discharge.